The IOTA ETS-20 and ETS-20DR introduce a new level of emergency lighting capability for facilities and public spaces that utilize auxiliary power sources for their emergency egress lighting. This video is designed to explain the wiring and functionality of the ETS-20 and demonstrate how its unique advantages can increase energy efficiency and lower your power costs. To begin, imagine a normal lighting circuit with an on-off control device like a wall switch. Now, a common emergency lighting solution to use in this situation would be either a generator or an inverter. Either the generator or inverter would power a separate circuit that would include emergency lights and is controlled by a transfer switch that switches from normal power to generator power during an emergency. This is a great way to ensure there's always power to emergency lights. However, to make sure that the emergency lights always come on, they're required to be night lights or always on fixtures that are not affected by the wall switch and over time will cause increased power consumption. And that means more costs. By incorporating the ETS-20 into the lighting circuit, you can restore local switch control to your emergency lighting load eliminating the need for night lights or always on fixtures and causing you to see increased energy savings. So how does it work? Well, the best way to understand the ETS-20 is to understand how it's wired and installed. And that begins with the normal power sense. These include the 18 gauge black wire and 18 gauge white neutral wire, which connect to the normal line and normal neutral respectively, making sure the black wire is connected ahead of the control device. These wires are used to sense whether power is being applied to the normal lighting circuit. Next, we connect the 18 gauge red wire, known as the normal switch sense, behind any control device on the normal lighting circuit. This wire works with the 12 gauge red wire, known as the emergency output, which is connected directly to your emergency lighting load. The ETS-20 uses these wires to sense the position of the local control device and pass that information on to the emergency load through the ETS-20's emergency output. This allows both the normal and the emergency lighting loads to benefit from the local control device. The last two wires we will connect will be the 12 gauge black wire and the 18 gauge gray wire forming the auxiliary emergency circuit feed. And that will complete wiring for the ETS-20. During normal power conditions, power flows through the ETS-20 to the emergency load according to the position of the control device as sensed by the red 18 wire. If the switch is turned off, the ETS-20 interrupts the flow of power to the emergency load, turning off the lights. This allows both the normal and emergency load to benefit from the local switch control, giving you complete control of your lights. Complete control means energy efficiency and the nice cost savings that come from less consumption. Should a power loss occur, resulting in a switch from normal power to generator power, the ETS-20 will sense the drop in power along the normal circuit and reroute power through the red 12 and black 12 wires, bypassing any local switching or control devices and allowing your emergency lights to operate at full lighting output. The ETS-20 also includes an optional remote device jumper that can be connected to a remote device like a security panel or a fire alarm, which can be used to tell the ETS-20 to bypass the local switching or control devices for the emergency load. The ETS-20 can be further configured to allow for dimming applications. This configuration allows you to include dimming controls instead of a wall switch that would be applied to both your normal and emergency lighting circuits to help you achieve energy efficiency. Wiring the ETS-20 for this scenario is only slightly different. The red 12 emergency output, black 12, and emergency circuit line are all connected to the emergency load. And the red 18 normal switch sense is capped, since the emergency load is controlled by its own dimming control. If emergency power is activated, the ETS-20 will route power around the emergency control device and power the emergency load at full output. The applications for the ETS-20 don't end though, as IOTA is proud to announce the latest in emergency transfer switching technology with the ETS-20DR. The ETS-20DR is designed to work with 0 to 10 volt dimming systems and provides additional dimming relays that allow for dual zone dimming bypass. The applications for dual zone dimming are endless, but a great way to imagine it in action is to think of an auditorium where there would be two different zones of lights that would have separate dimming controls. This would let you keep the lights on at full brightness on the stage while the rest of the auditorium was nice and dark for the attendees. 
Both of these dimming zones would include normal and emergency lights. However, without the ETS-20 DR, the emergency lights would have to be on a separate circuit or wired separately from the dimming control to ensure that they aren't dimmed during an emergency situation. By incorporating the ETS-20 DR, however, you can restore the dimming functionality to both zones of lights and be confident that your emergency lights will come on at full brightness. Before we move to wiring, a distinction should be made between zone dimming and the standard ETS-20's dimming option. In our auditorium application, you would achieve having two dimming controls with the standard ETS-20's dimming option. However, the second dimming control would only dim the emergency lights. The other dimming control would control all the normal lights. With the ETS-20DR, you can achieve zone dimming, which allows two different dimming controls to control two different zones, which can include both normal and emergency lights. Let's move to wiring. Wiring the ETS-20DR is almost effectively the same as wiring the standard ETS-20. With the ETS-20DR, the red 18 normal switch sense serves as a master switch sense for both the dimming zones, meaning both the normal and emergency lights can be controlled by one master switch. The ETS-20DR wiring deviates from the standard ETS-20 wiring with the introduction of the dimming relay leads. The ETS-20DR interfaces its leads with the pre-existing leads coming from the dimming control for each zone independently. So starting with zone 1, the brown-white normally open wire interfaces with the violet leads going to the normal lighting load and the zone 1 dimmer control. Next, the brown common interfaces with the violet lead going to the zone 1 emergency lighting load. And lastly, in this application, the brown-black normally closed wire is capped. However, this lead can be connected to another control device, such as an alternate dimmer, to accept a signal other than full output while in emergency mode. During normal power situations, the ETS-20DR allows the signal from the dimmer control to pass through to the emergency lights. However, once a drop in normal power is detected, the ETS-20DR will open the connection between its relay leads and interrupt the dimming signal to the emergency lights. Having no signal from the dimmer telling it otherwise, the emergency lights will then operate at full brightness. And after zone 1 has been wired, you simply duplicate the wiring using the orange leads for zone 2. And at this point, your ETS-20DR will be properly wired and ready to handle your emergency lighting needs. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and you feel equipped now to tackle your emergency lighting needs with the help of the ETS-20 or the ETS-20DR. As always, if you have any questions, you can call IOTA Tech Support at 1-855-363-9527, or you can visit our website at iotaengineering.com for more technical resources and information about the ETS-20. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.